morning y'all today we're gonna go we're gonna process some chickens but first we gotta eat yep mm -hmm. you guys hungry yes sir we had a nice little campfire this morning we enjoy God's creation for a little bit. We always love sitting around the fire in the mornings on Saturdays. It's kind of a family tradition. We like to get up a little bit early before the sun comes up and have a nice little campfire. So I, I hope and pray that we're able to do that for many years to come. But it's time to eat. We're going to get some good food, and we'll see you all in a minute. Look who's driving. My man Devin's doing pretty good. He's almost there. He's almost to where I'm comfortable with him driving by himself to go to school. That's a big step, y'all. Y'all pray for us. Does it really help you get closer to Jesus when your brother drives? Yeah, me too. Me too. Appreciate that, buddy. I'm not that bad of a driver. <laughs> no, he's doing good. He's doing he's doing much better. I'm really uh, proud of him. Doing a good job. Thanks. He hasn't even crashed yet. I mean, we're not we're not out of the driveway yet. Don't jinx it, Dad. I don't <laughs> I don't believe in that. He's doing good though. We're proud of him. Love you, bud. Love you too. All right. Take us to goalie, Ed. I will. Food was pretty good, so good job, guys. All right, let's get to work. What are y'all doing? Um, here. I was coffee and done. You haven't even got started yet. Lazy. Really? What do you have to say for yourself? I'm tired. Well, you better wake up. We got work to do. Uh, we're gonna weigh a chicken to see how heavy these things are. I guess the six pounds. I guess eight. Seven point nine one. Look who I found, guys. Yep. Hi, beautiful. Hi, baby. It's my little one right there. All right, y'all. We're about to get to process, and we got some birds in the back of the mule over there. I just want to show you guys a little bit of our setup. So what we do, we do six to ten at a time, is I don't want the birds to sit in those crates any longer than they have to because they get hot. Their body temperature gets hot. It's actually a little bit warmer today. So you don't want the birds to die on the last stretch. Plus, we want to be good stewards of them, and that's just not right. So we get a smaller amount of them. What we do is we park them over here in the mule to where they can't see the other birds in the killing cone over here. Because when the other birds get dispatched, which we want to do as humanely as possible, we don't want the other birds sitting there watching it because it stresses them out and we don't want them to go that way. So we park them over there. And then what we do, clean plucker, scalding pot here, nice clean water. Somewhere around 150 is where we like to keep it nice clean bleached stainless steel surface i'm gonna put some gloves on too bowls never have enough of those we got this little fishing cleaning station that works pretty dang good it's pretty easy to keep clean and lots of sharp knives and a knife sharpener this is really good for scraping the lungs out of the inside of the carcass of the chicken and i think it's a cherry pit remover yeah you already saw the ice guys we got lots of ice and ice chests here and what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is as we clean we're gonna put a little bit of water in with the ice so they're gonna sit and soak in an ice bath when you process the birds they're really hot 80 some odd degrees something like that so they're pretty warm so you want to get them into an ice bath as soon as possible because you don't want parasites things like that getting onto them you also want to let them soak and let the rest of the blood come out some folks like to do that for two to three days we've done that in the past we've had good luck but we've also had decent success of bagging them in the same day so it's really about preference you guys do it how you like i'm gonna do it how i like everybody be happy so we're gonna get this process started when we plug the plucker in I like to set it just like that, just to give you guys a perspective. That way you don't have to worry about that getting wet. Sometimes it gets in the way, so you got to kind of be careful when you're walking around. But it's worked out pretty well for us.
Well, guys, I got to say, really proud of you guys. Thank you. Y'all worked really hard. Yeah. So it took us about six hours, y'all, but we got 30 some odd birds processed, bagged, we shrink wrapped, we vacuum sealed some uh, of the pieces, and they're all in the freezer. And I'll give you guys a little bit of B-roll shot of that right now. One good day of honest work, and we got a freezer full of meat. So yep. Yep. I call that a good day in my book. Mm -hmm. And we got to spend time together, and I got to teach these young men how to provide for their future families one day. Yep. Yep. How to feed their families. You know, put some, put some weight on this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> you need to lose some yeah, weight whoa, on this bad boy. Whoa. <laughs> That's true. That's true. He's right. All right, y'all. Thanks for following along. We had a good day. It was a tough day, but we had a great one. God bless you guys. Take care. Bye.